So Jameson, you've talked about your throughput versus distance testing in our last clip. Why have you brought me into the hallway? That's a great question. This was actually one of the points that we used to measure during our coverage test. Okay, so what's a coverage test? A coverage test is where we walk about the building measuring what the user experience would be at each location. Okay, so clearly it's something you can test for, but why is coverage important to the end user? Coverage is important because users could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. You want to ensure wherever they are, they get a good connection. So basically ensuring that their application and experience is as wire-like wherever they are on the wireless network. Exactly. So how do you test for something like that? Well, we used Air Magnet's site survey tool in iPerf mode and took uh, 50 different data points throughout this building. Mm -hmm. And so what you talked about site surveys, I'll, clearly we talked about that a lot. What's iPerf mode? Well, iPerf mode is where the client is actively associated to the access point mm -hmm. and sending traffic upstream and downstream so that we can measure things like data rate, packet loss, retry rate. And in this test, we actually mounted the access point in the same location that we used for the throughput versus distance test and performed a coverage test on 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band separately. Clearly important because those will propagate differently. Yep. We compared the downstream data rate, or phi rate, between each vendor throughout the site survey heat map. Rates of 100 megabits per second and above are to can be considered good, providing high throughput speeds. Below 100 megabits and down to 36 megabits per second, speeds are okay, providing acceptable application performance. At the bottom of the scale, rates of 24 megabits and below provide limited throughput and provide poor connection quality. In the 2.4 gigahertz coverage results, the best performance possible is represented by the yellow color, which tops out at 144 megabits per second. Compared to Aruba and Motorola, Cisco has the largest cell size for the highest data rate, ensuring predictable application performance, even when walls and other obstacles come between the client and AP. Motorola's poor RF design really shows through here, as the data rate falls off to poor levels fairly rapidly as distance is increased. It should also be noted that HP only delivered 802.11G speeds because their 11N radio was configured for the 5 GHz band instead. In the 5 GHz band, the coverage test tops out at 300 megabits per second, depicted by the dark red color. This is because we used a 40 MHz channel. Cisco consistently has a cell size that exceeds other vendors at each different data rate. This provides predictable and reliable performance wherever the client is. Aruba, on the other hand, has spotty coverage, offering only the best data rates in certain areas. Motorola and HP provide similar coverage, offering an OK high throughput cell size except for HP only offered 300 megabits per second in a very small area. And then, as distance is increased between AP and client, Motorola especially falls off in data rate to very poor levels. Drilling down further into the 5 gigahertz coverage test, we measured the specific data rate at a location 70 feet away from the AP. This comparison translates the coverage test into a typical enterprise class cell based on best practice recommendations of one AP every 50 to 70 feet. Cisco provided the highest data rate at this location, whereas others such as HP were as low as 90 megabits per second. Across all of the coverage results, Cisco provided the most predictable cell size for each respective data rate and sustained higher data rates throughout the connection area compared to the competition. This translates into reliable application performance that mobile users can depend on regardless of their physical location inside the coverage area.